Hey everybody, today's our Friday Technique video. Uh, my director of strength conditioning, Nick Bronco, is going to help me out here. We're going to go over the power clean. Uh, the reason we're doing the power clean, obviously, uh, a lot of your power lifters may not use this. If you have the mobility to use it, it it's a good movement to put in there. Um, we like it as a movement. It's not for everybody. I can't do it. Uh, I'm, my arms are too big to get in the rack position. Uh, but if you have something you want to throw in there, you have the mobility to do it, it's a great movement. Mainly we're doing this for high school football coaches. Uh, every high school football coach, if you know one, send them this video. Because we go into high schools and we see this movement. They call it power cleaning, but it's nowhere near. It's, it's the back bend, reverse curl, you look like a starfish, and probably going to blog your ACL movement. That's a little long, so they shorten it to power clean. Um, but today we're going to go over several things that you should not do. Uh, three things that we see uh, that are the biggest ones. One, stomping of the feet. Uh, if stomping of your feet made you strong, then why don't we do an exercise where we're going to stomp our feet? Uh, the reason people stomp their feet is they don't understand the movement. Uh, Olympic lifting shoes are wooden. Platforms are wooden. Guess what? When you land, your feet make a sound. Does that mean you're stomping your feet? No. If you have tennis shoes on and you stomp your feet, it doesn't do anything for you. If foot stomping made you strong, then we'd use three sets of 10. Let's stomp, everybody stomp your feet. So please, stop stomping your feet, unless you're a clogger, clog dancer, and then keep going. Uh, number two, uh, we do the clean, especially for sports like football or other power sports, because of the triple extension. Extension the ankle, the knee, and the hips. So, if you're not getting triple extension, it's a pointless exercise. Most schools that we go into, we do not see triple extension. We see hips bent, Knees bent, reverse curl. So Nick's gonna show what the typical power clean looks like uh, in most of the high schools that we go into. Again, if you know a high school football coach, please show them this because hopefully this will save a lot of injuries and make this team better. Typically, this is what we see. That's our typical power clean. But they finish up here because that's what they see and they think that's good. So again, one more time, notice no triple extension. The bar swings way out from him, but then he stands up like he's actually done something good. So go ahead, put it down, good. <clears throat> and if you look at Nick's feet, uh, when he turns, we turn this way. If you look at his feet, the landing position that we see most often, the proper position you should land to clean in is, go ahead and show it, nice, just a little wider than the base. What we see most of the time in the high schools we go into, it's super, super wide, usually up on the toes, and there's leaning back like they're gonna fall over backwards. Obviously, that's not a very athletic position to land in or ever be in, and if you're in that in football, you're getting runned over. So, what we wanna to do today is get rid of the, um, these mistakes. So, you know, mainly if you do some of these things, if you do clean, then hopefully this will help you do it right. If you know a football coach and they do it at their high school, please send it to them. Two things right off the bat. If a high school does not have rubber plate, bumper plates, and does not have the proper bars, which you can both get from EliteFDS.com, then don't do the movement. It's not necessary. You can get all that power development from dynamic squats, from jumping, from lots of different plyometric movements. This is just a loaded way to do it. You can do loaded jumps with dumbbells in your hands. That gives you external load, rate of force development, triple extension, the things you need from this movement. But if you don't have the equipment, don't do it. Like, I don't have a crane. I'm not going to try to set a freaking air conditioning unit on someone's house. You don't have the right equipment. Don't try to do it. Okay? So, now we're just going to go over a couple quick pointers uh, in the power clean. Uh, we're going to go from the power position. So, one of the first things that we have to teach is the jump position. It's the first position that we teach. So, go ahead and get in the jump position. So, what we're looking for here in the jump position, we want to see that Nick's back is nice and flat. What we don't want is a big arch in his back. If he's doing this, even though if he's bent forward, now his chest is way up, but if you look, his hips are behind his shoulders. He's not gonna be able to create drive force out of his hips. It's gonna be all through his lower back. So let's go nice flat back. Turn to the side just a little bit. So you can see his back's nice and flat in this position. Now what he's gonna do is he's gonna load his legs. So he's gonna try to load his glutes and hamstrings. Now. As he loads it, you see when he comes down here, <clears throat> he's got to, let's go jump position. So jump position, his legs are loaded, he's here. From that position, what you want to do is what you look is when you tell your athletes to jump, if you see them rebend their knees, then they need to learn lower their legs. So go ahead and show with rebending the knees. 
Good. So, rebend in the knees. We don't want that. They have to be able to be in that position without and be able to move right from that position or they won't be able to do it coming from the power. So you can't do the jump, you can't do the power. So go ahead, give me a good jump position, load the legs, jump. Good. So basically we just want to T-set. Now we go into the power. We're doing this real quick because this is not, this is the basics. We want to, again, we want, this is not to teach everybody the ultimate technique and, and power clean. There's some things that I would switch and, and mix technique. But one of the things we want to do is show, especially the high school football coaches who do this and allow no triple extension, we want to show them that there's a, well, one, there's alternatives if you don't have the right equipment, and two, what to look for. Uh, and a lot of our athletes that aren't good athletes, we don't have much time with them, we just go into a regular jump without the catch. The catching part of the clean does not have to happen. It's a finality of the lift. It gives you a great number for the board, but if you don't have the time to teach it or the equipment, then just do the jump. So a lot of time we'll do the jump from the power position. So let's go from the power position, just do the jump. So here I can teach Nick to do this in two seconds. So he starts. Shins straight up and down, shoulders are straight over the bar, back's nice and flat. Now all I gotta do is say, Nick, jump as high as you can. Good, now I get great triple extension. Every kid in America can do that with a bar, put all the weight on it, it just doesn't give the finality of lift. Now, if you wanna have records for your board, you better have the time to teach it and the knowledge and know how to teach it, because it takes a long time. We don't work on cleans here, so Nick's form may not be great because we don't drill every day, because we power lift, and that's what he's training for. All right, so now let's go ahead and show just a regular uh, power clean. Good, so see how fast he got his elbows on? Bar path is straight up and down. Go ahead and do it again. Good, see that bar path falls right up his body, comes down. Good, go ahead and set it down. Good, so the power clean, if you notice that triple extension, Knees, ankles, hips, okay? Or ankles, hips, knees, or whatever you want to say it in. And then that bar path travels straight up the body. If the bar comes away from your body, it's wrong, okay? It cannot come away from your body. As you extend up, it comes up and back. Elbows rotate around the bar, uh, like Nick demonstrated. So <clears throat> if you don't have the time to teach it, if you don't know how, just do the jump portion of it. That gets us the triple extension. Gets us the rate of force development, gets us that explosive movement. You can load it plenty heavy. The only difference between doing the jump and finishing is teaching the technique and the catch, which, you know, depending on how good of an athlete you have, can take a long time, especially at a high school level. You have kids who can barely walk and chew gum. So there's alternatives, and we really want to put the technique out there for all those high school football coaches because as we go from high school to high school and we talk to these coaches, we see kids who are going to blow out ACLs as we've seen two blown ACLs from doing the back bend reverse curl. I, I won't even say that their teams do power curls because they are power cleans. They do power curls, reverse curls, but they're not power cleans. Um, it's a very safe movement if taught correctly. Uh, I believe it can be taught correctly, but you need time and you need someone who has the knowledge. So uh, please, if you don't have the time or the knowledge to, to take your team through it, just go right to the jump. And we just do those power jumps, and those power jumps gives us everything we need from the clean. Uh, again, uh, the technique videos, we get a lot of great response back from them. Uh, thanks for uh, sending in requests. Uh, we had a couple of requests. Um, and hopefully, like I said, send this to your high school football coaches that you know. If they're not getting the triple extension, they're wasting the kids' times, and they're potentially injuring them. Uh, like I said, we've seen two ACL blown now, blown from our reverse curl back bends and then the parents bring the kids in here for us to fix them. And uh, guess what, we don't really wanna fix kids, we just wanna help make them better so they don't get injured. So thanks, everybody have a great weekend. See you guys next Friday.